My dear brothers and sisters, some people are very light sleepers. They wake up at the slightest sound. And others are able to sleep more soundly. But most of us would probably be woken up by a bad storm, especially if there was thunder and lightning involved. And it is even more likely that our sleep would be disturbed in a storm if we were on a large ship at sea. If we were in a small boat and a storm broke over us, we would certainly be wide awake. My experience tells me that this is very real. In today's gospel reading, Jesus is portrayed as someone who is asleep in that situation. He was in a small fishing boat in the midst of a storm with the waves breaking into the boat, and yet he was asleep. The disciples reacted more as we, as we would as we would and the disciples were not only awake but they were in a state of panic when they said lord save us we are perishing and we can all find ourselves buffeted by some form of storms like crisis or other calamities we feel frightened and powerless, perhaps even hopeless and despondent. We try to cry out, Lord, save us. And in such situations, there is often little we can do about. And so we have to go, but we have to go through it. However, the Lord, the Lord our God, can calm the storm within us if we turn to him in trusting prayer like the disciples in the boat our prayer may take the form of a cry like crying out lord save us we are perishing and this kind of prayer is a prayer that the lord always responds to our prayer of trust will always open us up to the Lord's ready, steady, and assuring presence, allowing us to calm the storm until we reach a place of peace. Sa kamaayo sa ginuo, brothers and sisters, ganahan tinga siya, oi nga, mahinanok ta sa atong pagkatog. Ang ato lang, saligi good siya, Salig kaniya.